So, yeah, uh, Rishabh Pant back in the, the Indian Test side. It's been a couple of years and it couldn't have gone much better. Uh, 100 in second innings. Uh, and there's been a lot of comparisons. I mean, he's, he's played 34 test matches um, and there are comparisons with Adam Gilchrist. I read a few of the articles in the Indian press comparing where both players were at the 34 test stage within 200 runs of each other. Very similar dismissals behind the stumps. Um, Gilchrist is... I'm assuming Gilchrist had a higher average because he's... Because Gilchrist's average was loaded at the start of his career. And if you look at the end, he kind of struggled a little bit. And, yeah. I mean, struggled is a, struggled compared to the beginning of his career. Yeah, his his average was higher and his strike rate was higher. Um, yeah. But look, we're, we're talking very similar. The, the the main difference is, of course, Richard Pant is coming in at number five. Yes. And Adam Gilchrist is coming in at number seven. And you wrote a fascinating piece on uh, your site about the... Uh, about the fact that it's it's seemingly easier to bat a little bit um, at the start of an innings rather than in the middle. It's kind of flipped on its head with what Adam Gilchrist, the Adam Gilchrist days, I suppose. So, you know, Rishabh Pan is coming to the crease more often than not with his team under real pressure, whereas Adam Gilchrist used to walk into the crease with the the opposition bowlers absolutely flogged and knackered. Not not to take anything away from Gilchrist, but no, it's true. It, that that's just that's just how it is. You'd rather be facing. You know, bowlers who bowled 80, 90 overs and bowlers that bowl 30 overs, right? So, yeah, so um, I think it's the last five or last 10 years in India, uh, but certainly the last five years where the worst time to bat is between the 20 over and the 40 over period, which yeah. is such a bizarre period of time to think that's when it's difficult. But it's essentially, I think what's happening is the lacquer goes off the ball. So the ball starts to spin a little bit more, but the ball stays hard. The minute it gets soft, We've seen Jadeja and Ashwin and Akshar Patel and tail enders, right? Making all these runs. So we know how much easier it gets. But when that ball's hard, good luck. That's when Rishabh Pant has been coming in. And so mm. you're right, you know, the pressure. So so we had a look at the the medians um, of, of players, uh, you know, and when they come in to bat and everything. Uh, because it's a really interesting one, especially for the, the guys who come in lower down the order. And uh, <laughs> essentially... No one has ever had a better um, entry point in, in international cricket than Adam Gilchrist. He used to come in with two, the, the median score was about 250, which is a remark. Most teams don't score 250. Like, do you know what I mean? No. Like it's a and remarkable also, number to come in. How many, over, how many overs would that be as well? Would that, he'd be coming in 50, possibly 55? 65? Yeah, maybe. So oh, yeah, actually 50, you're right. So 15 overs of the of the ball to go as well to, to, to kind of get himself in. And then, of course... The opposition captain will be holding his fast bowlers back for the second new ball, so he won't be coming up against you know the Wazir. Well, maybe actually against Pakistan would be a little bit different, but still, you know, yeah. it's. Do you remember? Goffey always says that Gilchrist was the hardest one to bowl to, and he yeah. doesn't say he was the most skillful. He said that by the time you bowled to Gilchrist, you were exhausted. Yeah, and then you had a guy who would come in with runs on the board and would just hit fours for fun. Um, so it's a very different job when you know when Rishabh Pant comes in. Because as you said before, he's batting uh, at, at number five. You know, he's coming in with, you know, and then I'm not saying they're always in trouble or anything, but, you know, the score is roughly around 118. And it's also been for four because he's batted at number six, of course, and number seven. He, he's yeah. kind of gone everywhere in the order. Uh, but he is going to be probably a number five, or at least in the short term. Um, and it's a completely different job, right? And it, it, he's got a lot more responsibility. And what's interesting is that he's still scoring at a rate. I think what one of the things for India is, I think in T20 cricket, he got to a point where maybe Ricky Ponting whispered in his ear that being an anchor was more was better for the team than scoring really quick. And so he went through a period of slowing down his scoring and making sure he got more runs. I actually think Richard Part, you want him to average 40 to 43 with a strike rate of 90, right? Because that's chaos. <laughs> You know what I mean? And if and if Rohit or Virat or, you know, Jaiswal or any of the players up the order have done something, Gil, KRL, whoever's ahead of him, has done something and he comes in and he hits 70 off 55 balls. It's like, you, you it, especially on low scoring Indian wickets as they currently are. I mean, what do you do? It's just good luck, right? So I think you want to encourage that. So, you know, if you look at the great attacking players in history, I've heard people say he could even replace Vera at number four. They don't have many attacking number fours. 
right? And uh, you know, you get maybe Lara and KP batted there a little bit, but you don't get many players who attack at number four. I think number five and number six is exactly where they want him to be, uh, especially now that they have a left hander um, opening the batting in Jaiswell as well. And I think that's almost perfect, a perfect situation for him. But I, th that would be the thing that I would be encouraging him all the time is like, just keep scoring quickly. We don't need you to average 55. Because if you can average 43 and we have the other guys making runs at the top of the order, you're just going to cause so many extra problems uh, for everyone else. And it was a bit the same when Gilchrist did start the struggle at the end of his career. No one in Australia went up to him and said, I'll, I'll just, just um, get your average back over 50. Everyone just went, just keep whacking him, mate. Because everyone's still terrified of you. Um, and, 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 you know, we're already seeing, it, it's interesting that Gilchrist has been mentioned when, when you you actually, I think, asked me for, for the numbers to have a look at the, the median, um, your old friend uh, Alex Stewart um, has one of the worst records of any of, of any when he came into bat. So when he came in, England were always, I think they were about three for 80. Um, and I That's think... That's about right. Yeah, and I think Andy Flower, Andy Flower, um, Zimbabwe were about three for 65 or something. Also, when Andy Flower came in and they were like three for 65, it was probably off about 60 overs because of the way that the Zimbabwean top order used to score. So at least he had the older ball by the time he got in. But, you know, the the, the job that Pant's going to be, is going to probably going to be around that 100 for three mark in his career, right? And when he comes in at 100 for three, there's a very chance that you are 200 for four by, the, you know, in, in less than a session, right? Look, look I actually... To go back to this test match, as you said before, it was a bit predictable and everything. But if you go back, they took those three early wickets, Bangladesh, right? Really fascinating wickets, you know, really good by Hassan Mahmoud. And then that next period afterwards, Rishabh Pant is the one who's smacking the ball everywhere and putting pressure back on Bangladesh. And eventually, Jaiswal and Kaur Rahul extend that even further. So when Jadeja and Ashwin come into bat, it's after that 40 over mark or around that 40 over mark. And the ball's already a bit soft. You go to Bangladesh, they didn't have anyone do that. And so they didn't, by the time they got to the 40 over mark, they were basically all out, right? They had no, I think they had Mahidi Hassan and tail enders left. And so the, the Rishabh Pump being able to do that is so important, I think. Um, and even, so the, the second innings runs is what everyone remember. I actually think from the point of the point of this game, the first innings runs, uh, I think he made 40 on, didn't he? It wasn't like a mm -hmm. huge score, but it took, India from a position where it looked like they could be four or five down and it put all the pressure back on Bangladesh at that point. 